Hey everyone, this is Jessica McAllister. Thanks for coming to my channel and learning some new things about um, online teaching. So this really quick and short little video is really more designed to show you, um, I guess, or maybe just explain why I do what I do. So um, here, uh, here in this little yellow box here on the screen is an assignment that's due tomorrow for some students that I'm currently teaching. And it's a discussion forum, this discussion question, but it's due tomorrow. So here's the thing, even though there are eight submissions, if you see this little, uh, little eight right there, Whoops, let's see, there's so many cool little features with Zoom. See this little eight right here? That means there's eight students that have submitted to this assignment specifically. I could go in right now and grade those, or I could go in and respond to students and build conversation, but I haven't even looked at them yet. One of my practices that you'll see in another video is that I try to, as much as possible, go in and respond to students' initial posts. And so I haven't done that yet for this discussion forum because it's not due until tomorrow. Now there's a reason about my time, there's a reason why I have that timing in terms of the effort that I would take in going into that discussion forum and engaging in it, actively engaging in it with my students. I'm not gonna do that until tomorrow, probably later tomorrow afternoon. Um, and then so it kind of opens the door for, for me then to go in and inter interact in that forum. I don't do it before the due date because again, you know, through all the years and feedback um, from students, reading student evaluations, supervising students, having the opportunity of to build uh, continuously over and over really great relationships with students throughout the years, they've shared with me that when instructors go in and um, excuse me, go into the discussion forums and uh, interact and engage before the due date, they feel like it kind of shaved off some of their learning experience because they immediately would go and read what the instructor said because let's face it, everybody wants to know what the instructor said, right? So the, the students would naturally gravitate towards what the instructor said, then it would create bias in their ability to create their own post from their own original thinking. And you know, at the graduate level, especially, this is an undergraduate level course, but at the graduate level, we definitely wanna push students to be creative and be um, generating rationale behind their own ideas. And we don't want our instructor responses to other students creating an already uh, established bias and taking away that opportunity for students to first produce their own idea sets. So that is why I wait until the due date um, before I engage in any discussion forum. So I definitely pay attention to this. Now I know that they have another discussion forum due on the 23rd. So I'm definitely going to wait until the 23rd um, to engage in that discussion forum. Now the reflections, for example, this is a class that requires a reflection to be due at the end of the week. Now there's, um, there's, <laughs> there is already two submissions in this one here. And just because they're there and it's only Wednesday of the week, I'm not going to, um, I'm not gonna grade those right now because I don't want students to get a habit of submitting those early. The reflections are actually meant for them to reflect, to actually look back well, if it's only one day or two days in the learning week, they're too close to the forest still. They can't see the trees. And so I've asked students, I've prompted them more towards the beginning of the course to wait until the, till the end of the week as far as they can um, in order to post those reflections. But inevitably, a few students are really ahead of the game, I guess and they post them early, but I don't read them until later on in the week. And I don't grade them until usually Sunday or Monday. They're due on Sundays, but I don't grade them until 
typically the day that they're due or any day after. Okay, so that's my rationale in the little to do list over here. I keep an eye on it for every class. Um, I have four classes. And so I'll actually just go through the list every day and work through my course list. And I'll start over here with just my little uh, stats class. There's no student uh, information on the screen. So there's definitely no privacy issues here. But see, the first thing I look at over here is there's 13 midterms that I need to get graded because those were submitted on Sunday, Sunday the 18th. And today is like, what, the 21st. So I'm definitely going to have those graded by Friday, a couple days from now. Um, here again is some grading. This is specific to this class only. So I've definitely got to work on those two pieces of grading. Now here, oh, there's no due date in the course. So I need to go fix that. See, there's no due date showing that means that I didn't put the due date in there, but that um, discussion forms due tomorrow. So again, I'm not gonna go in and respond to those students until tomorrow for that one. And then their lab exercises due on Sunday and their other activities due on Sunday. So I'm gonna go fix those due dates right now. Thanks for watching. But that's what I do is I work through each of my classes every day and that's what guides me in terms of the uh, actions that I have to take in the class, such as this one. Now um, I'm always on top of things because I'm paying attention, you know, to what's um, being posted, what's due, what's ready to be graded, what's being currently in, in progress, being currently submitted by students in progress. And then of course, little indicators like this, like, oops, I need to go fix that. So thanks for watching. Keep watching, subscribe. I'm going to have lots of videos. I've got I don't know, 5,000 tips and tricks from Professor McAllister to, to give you. So take care. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.